Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you modules. Modules allow you to essentially make your code a lot neater, have, let's say, functions in different files, and instead of, you know, having these source includes right here, these tags, we'll have, you know, something similar, but the type will be slightly different. Instead of, you know, all immediately being available, you can just import very similar to, like, in C or C++, where you do a hash include, of what you want in that file. So the reason I'm doing it on an online IDE compared to something a bit more local is that the import and export module functionality isn't like quite fully supported in web browsers yet, but it's still very, you know, important, it's up and coming. And the, one of the best IDEs to use is codesandbox.io. I love it because you can easily just create stuff, it's free, you can sign in and get more functionality if you want being able to save stuff, but also I can easily create extra files. So I've got these two JS files created, they just got the use script tag, nothing new, nothing apart from that. But what I need is, I also need to include the, I need to include the custom JS file. Do that by doing src and this is in the path of src custom.js. The only difference is you can, you know, sometimes put a type of text JavaScript for this. I haven't bothered, but the type for this is module. So bear that in mind, this needs to be a module type. And now in custom.js, I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it hello world and in here I'm going to do a simple console log say hello world and in index.js if I were to just call that function let's see what happens it says hello world is not defined and even though we've defined it here and we've put this line before this line because it's a module unless we import it it will not work so there's a few things that we need to do to import it. First, we need to export it from here. So let's do export. The beauty of this, you know, sort of root is anything, let's say, that's part of this file, but you may not want it, you know, use by other files. You just don't export. So export and, I'll, you know, save that. In here, we need to import it. So we just do import. And we'll bracket. Now, what, what, wherever we're importing, which is hello world from. And now this is the file or the file location as it's in the same folder as index.js. We can just put custom.js and this still won't work. Let's say could not find dependency. And the reason is you need to do dot forward slash always. And now as you can see, that is working fine. And if I comment that out, it doesn't show it. But if I do that, we don't have this hello world function implemented anywhere in here. It's in the custom.js file that's just something to bear in mind if you're importing multiple modules you can just put comma then you know name to name two or whatever it's called the name three for example so instead of having to do multiple lines for modules that are from the same file you can either do something like asterisk as well which will and um, you would do it something along the lines of like that but again it's not fully supported in everything and you can just import every single thing but hello world that's how you use the import and export modules so just bear in mind that it's a cool thing to use but it's not fully supported but i think it's something worth knowing it's definitely part of the new es6 javascript if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial